So yeah, it, it will forward having this uh, power loss. Um, so Bar Barabasi and Albert um, proposed that there are way to uh, explain this uh, and then create a connection, not just in uh, one node at a time. So you, we, they proposed to have this M vertex step which is a way that you can uh, generate, actually, the will be operator to the next one. Uh, you can generate the preferential attachment phenomenon, right? So at time t, now you add new vertex v, uh, this new vertex v would have m edges. So it means that it's just, you, can, you can just think about not having just one edge, because what I did there is like having just one edge, right? And then pick one out. That can be done easily, actually. You can just write the loop and then pick one out one at a time, and you can try that. Uh, but this, in this case, uh, Barabasi, uh, Barabasi, sorry, and Albert uh, proposed that instead of getting just one, we not talk about M edges for each node, having expected, actually not, not expected, this, exactly M edges at a time to connect to the network uh, using preferred attachment. So number of vertex would be uh, in uh, number of vertex would be uh, n t would be n zero at the initial step and then plus t three t times and number of edges would be uh, the initial number of edges plus m which is the number of the number that occurring at a time and then the number of time steps. Okay, uh, network will begin with uh, initial connected network n node. We have n node and the new node will be added to network one at a time. And each new node will connect to M, right? M existing node, right? Because we have this M as number of node to be connected to. This M have to be less than N. You cannot connect to, uh, because if say you have five, you connect to six node, that is impossible, right? You can connect to like two nodes uh, if you have new edge coming in. Uh, the probability of connection uh, would be proportional to the number of links that you have uh, divided by the total number of of, uh, of node that are there. Uh, so formally, the probability P would equals to actually the same thing, right? We, we, we would have the, this probability uh, to pick out and we have like two, uh, we, we need to pick two uh, from this uh, probability, meaning that we have, simply speaking, like we have this, uh, we need to do sampling without replacement two times from this probability distribution. Okay, uh, so uh, K here is the degree of the nodes. So basically, simply speaking, when you add new node, just pick two nodes based on this distribution. Okay, now let's try the graph. We, I'll switch back to, to this one, right? Now, this is the, uh, I use this Baba, uh, Barabasi Albert graph, which is in network X uh, with 100 node, and then this is N, this is M, right? Well, for this one, I have a node here, N equal, oh, sorry, uh, I need to uh, switch this back. Let's take five minutes break. I will need to change the battery.
Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, let's uh, let's take a look at the code. Right. Um, we're talking about a preferential attachment with different number of n and m, number of node and number of the edge connecting to uh, the existing uh, graph. Uh, here for this example, we have n. Actually, I will just put it like this one, n equal 1,100. Why did I use this number? Did you see this number? Oh, if I just make something, because yeah, it's actually 100, right? n equal 100. And for each of the, uh, for each of the node, this is like the number, number of uh, node. And two is the number of edge, number of edges that each node need to connect to. Right. So um, now let's generate the graph here. You see that this is actually random graph, right? Random graph that for each node, each each node will connect to two nodes randomly. Okay. And with this one, we can see that the hub arise from, from this node, that there are some of the node here that having high connection and some would have low connection, just, just, two, just the two. If we change M to one, this will, this will very, be very obvious. You get something like spanning tree out of this because each node can connect to just one. Uh, and there will be some node that have a lot of connection. So this is very uh, an obvious example of, of the way that the, um, the the way that to generate uh, the preferential attachment behavior. Uh, it, you you can think of a way to generate this preferential attachment in other way as well. Because I would say this uh, uh, Barabasi way is actually quite um, unrealistic as well. Because everyone need to have three friends <laughs> like this one. And you got lots of connection here, uh, which is a little bit strange, I think, because you have equal number of edge for all of that. No mind. Okay. Now, if we take a look at this, uh, at uh, let me instead switch to the screen. So, if we take a look at, and I don't like screen because it has this uh, obscure. Uh, if, we, if we take a look at this one. Uh, you can see that uh, you can see that the distribution of the node here, here the distribution of the node. Uh, if, if we if analyze the distribution of the degree of the node, right, uh, using the degrees, getting the degree out, and then the value, and then create a histogram and plot a graph, I will get this distribution. This is the distribution, the degree distribution of the uh, Barabasi. Uh, sorry. Uh, a missing Barabasi Albert graph, right? And you can see that it kind of behave like a straight line in the uh, logarithmic scale. Okay, so by just simulating, simply selecting uh, nodes out of the network to be connected to, you can now create a network that have similar properties to the actual network. Okay. That's the first, uh, that is the first phenomenon that uh, when we talk about network evolution, network will evolve in this way. Uh, we talk about a simple uh, scale-free network. It will evolve in uh, the preferential attachment where that is the new node coming in would like to attach to uh, the high connectivity nodes. Just like when you have uh, a person that have a charisma, you likely to attach that person rather than attaching to the other nodes, but it doesn't have to guarantee that the connection would occur. Uh, you might end up connecting to another person, uh, but there's a chance that you connect to that person, that highly well-known person, more than the others, right? You know who, I who I'm talking about here. 